Welcome to all lists. If you enjoy our videos, please make sure to like and comment, and don't miss any new videos by subscribing below. Algeria is a very beautiful and interesting place to visit, but is it as good, if you live in it outside the tourist areas? Today we're counting down the top reasons not to move to Algeria. 1. Healthcare. Although the population has access to free public health care, the most vulnerable families now have less access to medical care, for various reasons. The high cost of medicines and the fact that some of these are not covered by health insurance systems, have led to a reduction in the purchase of medicines. Other factors which contribute to restricting these families' access to medical care, include the deteriorated condition of clinics and hospitals, malfunctioning equipment, lack of maintenance, the frequent lack of medicines and distance. Whenever a powerful and wealthy person needs healthcare, they leave abroad seeking better doctors. Doctors aren't really qualified mainly in public health centers. They are rather unprofessional, arrogant, biased, short-tempered, and think of you as second-class citizens and that they are doing you some sort of a favor. Locals also don't believe in psychiatry and don't get therapy when they have to. Whenever someone needs a false medical certificate, they go either to a public hospital or clinic, or to a private one to get it. Some get one to avoid arranged marriage, others to avoid joining the army, or to justify skipping school and not having exams and so on. 2. Education Memory is the only thing you need to succeed. If you're having a difficult lesson, and your teacher isn't willing to explain it or can't do it, you have to memorize it anyway. Use it for your exams and, if you get stuck, teachers and mentors will help you. There were instances that the exam supervisors, whose job was to prevent students from cheating on some exams, went to a student and whispered the correct answers in their ear. The supervisor told them that their answers weren't correct, and advised them to change them. You have studied in Arabic for over 12 years. You start studying at the university and, voila, everything is in French. No surprise, after all, Algeria's systems are all French-like. If you were an Algerian student, you'd be questioning whether some of your teachers have really graduated from college. But then you realize you're in Algeria, and that they probably have cheated to get to their current positions. 3. Illiteracy The illiteracy rate remains high in spite of efforts by the government and civil society. Illiteracy is higher in rural areas than in urban centers. It is also greater among women than among men, and is particularly high among peasant women as opposed to urban women. 4. Poverty Violence and the political and economic crises threatened human security and gave rise to contradictions. While the poor got steadily poorer, a new affluent class of people enriched by the crisis emerged, and the middle class gradually disappeared. While state-owned companies founded, and several were closed, 
Private banks and companies sprang up amid suspicions of corruption and a lack of transparency. 5. Unemployment The structural adjustment program has caused considerable deterioration in the employment situation in the last years. 400,000 jobs were lost and the informal sector of the economy grew. Most people get to higher positions only with connections. You can become an architect or something very well paid, if your father is rich and has the right connections. 6. Bureaucracy there is institutional incompetence and excessive bureaucracy, which have discouraged production, profitable investment, and employment. 7. Housing The number of people living in unsanitary housing conditions is nearly 3.7 million, that is nearly 12% of the population. This high proportion of inadequate dwellings, and the absence of recreational areas for children such as public parks, indicate a deteriorating living environment. 8. Car traffic Car traffic is horrendous. Algerian roads are overcrowded and traffic-related accidents kill a large number of people every year. Drivers will encounter police and military checkpoints on major roads within, and on the periphery of, Algiers and other major cities. 9. Real Estate Real estate is expensive. Algeria property is the most expensive in North Africa, as a shortage of affordable housing has pushed prices up five-fold in a decade. Most locals cannot afford to buy and are forced to rent. 10. Internet connection. Algerian internet users certainly know better than anyone the extent of the shortcomings of internet services. They have suffered from decades of bad connections. Moreover, this is due to the monopoly of the internet by just one company. The private sector suggested the creation of an independent company in vain, which would manage the national network, and the fiber optics as well as the international connections, and the infrastructure. Algeri Telecom is the state-owned company that monopolizes the national IT market, and telephone lines in the country. The lack or even the absence of competition in this sector has resulted in a delay for the internet, and what comes with. 11. Bigotry You will face all sorts of bigotry. You can be teased judged, and mistreated for not being like the rest of the people in every aspect. 12. Acceptance To the locals it matters a lot what family you are from, and your social economical status. If you aren't a local, it suggests that you are an outsider. For example, it's a lot easier for any business to get done, if you're a local, because of the bureaucracy. Another example is that, if you don't like soccer, you're going to be bullied. Locals are big football fans. If you stay neutral for a soccer game, it can bring you problems, because of the mentality they have, which is, if you aren't with us, you are against us then they can accuse you of treason and bully you. Being mentally or physically challenged is yet another excuse for locals to hurt you. 13. Accent If your accent doesn't sound like the local one, if you miss rhythm your speech, 
or mispronounce your T's, they'll notice and judge you. When you meet some strangers, don't expect being asked for your first name, but expect to hear something along these lines, you don't talk like us. What's your origin? What's your family name? What's your father's work? What are you doing here? 14. Rich and Poor Gap The difference in spending power between rich and poor households has continued to increase. The poorest 20% of families account for only 7.5% of total expenditure, while the richest 20% spend 43.2% of the total. 15. Mentality The highest level of open-mindedness that Algerians have reached can be summarized in this sentence. Theirs is good. Ours is bad. New is good. Old is bad. If anyone ever tries to convince you that what you're doing is wrong, simply you tell them that they are wrong. You don't listen to them. You don't even try to understand anything. After all, you are the open-minded one. They aren't. In other words, they are blindly copying what Westerners do. Sadly, they don't adopt the good stuff like love of science, helping and supporting each other, humanism, skepticism, constructive criticism and so on. They only adopt shallow things, like having boyfriends and girlfriends, haircuts, clothes and so on. Some also celebrate St. Valentine's Day, but do these people really know anything about its origin? Of course not. Why would they? They just copy from the West. It is very likely to see a soft, hairless man badmouthing those who have beards because that's an irrelevant thing now. Old is bad, and that's what their prophet has encouraged. Days later, you see him again and can hardly recognize him because he has changed his appearance into a Taliban-like style. How is that? Well, some famous guys made it a la mode to have a beard. Theirs is good, new is good, and so he embraced their style. Sometimes you can see homophobes wearing a pro-gay shirt that sometimes contains explicit language. Weird. Right. Visit Algeria and you'd be stunned. 16. Public bathrooms. It's very rare to find public bathrooms. You can find them in gas stations or restaurants only. 17. Religion. If you follow any religion other than Sunni Islam, you are an enemy, even though most Algerians are Muslims by birth, and hardly know or practice their religion. If you show tolerance towards others, you'd be hated, and may be called atheist, Christian and so on. 18. Race. You can be discriminated against especially if you are black or Chinese. 19. Language Majority of Algerians think Arabic is irrelevant, English sounds too homosexual, and French is the perfect language. If you are not Algerian, they will notice right away. 20. Marriage Marriage is very important. There are no couples living together without marriage, because Algerians are Muslims. But schools are mixed and there is no problem for dating couples, unless somebody is seen by their relatives. Then it becomes a real disaster. The vast majority of men and women save their virginity for marriage. Some girls get married, because they know a man. Sometimes their family arranges their marriage. 
That's called traditional marriage and it works for them most of the time. 21. Politics. Democracy in Algeria has already manifested itself in the so-called civil war. A long story short, Islamists won the elections, and the FLN party said, no, no, you won't rule, and then major conflicts arose. That is why Algerians generally don't believe in voting. The majority of people don't vote, the ones who do are into other parties. Yet, His Highness, Bouteflika, is being elected over and over again. He has been in power for many years now. To some extent, people live under the rule of a totalitarian government, where you are taught to fear the state, and not to love and work for your nation. And it seems to work for them. 22. Foreign money transactions. There are some limitations on the foreign money transactions. The government tightly controls foreign exchange for Algerian firms. Algerian companies, except those in the hydrocarbons sector, may only receive up to 50% of their export earnings in US dollars. The remainder must be paid in local currency. Algerian companies in the hydrocarbons sector must receive 100% of export revenue in local currency. With few exceptions, the Algerian government prohibits Algerians from holding financial assets abroad. 23. Society. Society is scattered. Everyone is self-centered. This allows businessmen and politicians to manipulate people easily. So it has become pretty normal, and acceptable that a lot of countries' money is spent on crazy and happy events like Ramadan, festivals, and national days. Algerians don't have much teamwork experience on the whole. Family bonds are so strong, that real friendships hardly exist. Gossip, hypocrisy and backstabbing other norms. There's an unspoken rule that everyone knows, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. This no evil saying means that if you get raped in front of everyone, probably nobody will do anything about it. It means you can't tell authorities, or testify in court. If you dare to stand up against wrongdoers, chances are, you are starting a minuscule civil war between families and friends. 24. Women's role. It's not very safe for women to live alone. Of course, it depends on the place you're living in. So try to stay discreet. Do not wear revealing clothes, because they are not much used to this kind of stuff. Try not to get out after the Maghreb time, sunset that is, because it's rare to see women out after that time. 25. People pleasing. Of course, you've heard the saying, live and let live. Well, here, it's the opposite, I've got no life and ain't letting you have one either. This is a dangerously common mentality. Your dreams would be crushed. Even positive words like hope, optimism, dream, friendship, love, are looked down on. In Daja, which is Algerian Arabic, the passive voice is almost never used. Instead of saying, the apple was eaten, you'd be hearing something like, they ate the apple. You know, your way of talking reflects your way of thinking. It is forbidden to be yourself, or to have your own style, personality, mentality, or anything. Everyone strives to be like everyone, and you are expected or socially forced to do the same. For example, you are not religiously obligated to sacrifice sheep for God. Yet, 
It has become a social obligation that even awfully poor families that barely get their basic necessities struggle to do it. 26. Humor. Algerians have a sickening sense of humor that is based on the misery of others. Takli Lujaj, ah, is the recent famed and viral joke in the country. It's about a real old man torturing real canines. But, hey, that's Algeria, a place where both human and animal abuse are allowed to some degree. Check out new videos and subscribe below.